Hello everyone. So we will continue with one dimension array. In my last video, we had seen how to insert element. Today we will learn how to search elements in an array. So the topic for today is we will learn how to search element in an array using linear search. So the question is to search element in the array. The method which we'll be using is linear search. Now before I explain you all the code, I'll explain the logic of the code with the help of an example. Consider we have this array. So suppose the elements are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 20. Now say suppose we want to check if 20 is present in the array. So if 20 is present in the array, then we need to print that uh, 20 is present and also we will print its location. Now to solve this, we will compare each of the array element with the element to be searched. So first we will check if 10 is equal to 20. Now we know that 10 is not equal to 20. So it will move on to the next element. So then it will check if 20 is equal to 20. 20 is equal to 20. So it will print that 20 is present at position 2. See now over here while printing you need to be careful. Actually inside the array we know that this is position 1 because array values start from 0. So we already know that array values start from 0. So this is the first position inside the array. But while printing we will print that it is present at the second position. Because any person uh, who doesn't have programming knowledge will say that this is the second position. Then then what it will do is that it will check if 30 is equal to 20. Now we know that 30 is not equal to 20. So again it will move on for the next element. So now it will check if 40 is equal to 20. We also know that 40 is not equal to 20. So it will go on to the next element. Now it will check if 20 is equal to 20. 20 is equal to 20. So again over here it will print that 20 is present at position 5. So here also we need to be careful while printing the position. Actually inside the array this will be the 0th position. This is the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. So actually inside the array this is the 4th position. But while printing we will print that 20 is present at the 5th position. So it will print that 20 is present at the 2nd position. And then it will print 20 is present at the 5th position. So this code will handle the case when the search element is present more than once in the array. Like for example in this case we can see that 20 is present twice in this array. Now the condition which we will be using for comparing in the code is if a of i equal equal to search. Now in this case a of i will be the array values. It will hold the array values. For example over here it will have values as 10, 20, 30, 40 and 20. Then we use double equal to because in C we use double equal to to check for equal to condition. Single equal to will be just for assignment. And this search will hold the element to be searched. Like for example over here search will hold the value 20. So based on this logic we will write a program to search an element in the array. So basically we just uh, compare the search element to all the elements inside the array. So let us see the code. First we write the header file. Then the program will start from the main function. Then we will declare all the variables that we will be using in the code. First we declare an integer array a. The size of the array is 20. Then we have declared another integer variable search which will hold the number to be searched. Then this i variable will be used in loops. Then n will hold the number of element. And this f is used to check if the element is present in the array or not present in the array. So initially we will set f to 0. Then it will ask the user to enter the number of element. So whatever number the user enter will be stored in this n variable. So this side I will explain with an example. So consider user enters n value as 5 that is the number of elements will be 5. Then it will ask the user to enter the elements in the array. Now we already know that to enter elements in the array at runtime we will use a for loop. Now how to enter using a for loop I have explained in detail in my previous window uh, videos. 
so you all just explain in brief first we initialize i value to 0 because array value start from 0 then it will check uh, so the loop will go on till i is less than n n is the number of elements so till i values less than n it will enter the values allow the user to enter the values inside the array so over here we can see that we have a scanf statement so which means that the user will enter value inside the array till i values less than n so consider user enters the values as 10 20 30 40 and 20 that means 10 will be stored at the f0 position 20 at the first 30 at the second 40 at the third and this 20 again at the fourth position then it will ask the user to enter the number to be searched uh, say suppose user enters search value as 20 so that 20 value will be stored in this search variable which means that we need to check if 20 is present inside the array next we have this for loop this is the part wherein we will compare the search element with all the elements in the array so we will initialize this i value to 0 because array value start from 0 it will go on till i less than n where n will be the number of elements if this condition is satisfied it will check this if condition now in this if condition we have if a of i equal equal to search meaning it will compare the search element with the elements of the array so if the element to be searched is equal to the element of the array then it will print that the search element is present at location i plus 1 the reason we take i plus 1 and not i is because array values start from 0 now say suppose a user finds an element at position 1 inside the array then actually while printing it should print that it is found at position 2 as a result we take this as i plus 1 and not i after that we will increment the i f value f plus plus meaning f equal to f plus 1 now this will help us to determine whether the element is present in the array or whether it is not present at all the reason we use this because here we can see we have put a condition that if f equal to 0 then element is not present in the array so if the condition is satisfied which means the element is found inside the array then we increase the f value so f value will be greater than 0 or we can say it won't be 0 so that means this condition won't be true and we can say that element is present inside the array also the f value will give us the count of how many times a particular element is found inside the array now I'll explain this for loop with this example. First we initialize i value to 0. So we can see that i is initialized to 0. Then it will check if i is less than n. i was 0 so it will check if 0 is less than n. n value is 5 so it will check if 0 is less than 5. 0 is less than 5 the condition is satisfied. So it will execute this part. So it will execute so it will check this if condition that is if a of i equal to search so i value is 0 that means it will check if a of 0 is equal to search a of 0 value was 10 that means it will check if 10 is equal to the search value search value is 20 so it will check if 10 is equal to 20 10 is not equal to 20 so the condition is not satisfied this condition is not satisfied so it won't execute the statements inside if, if uh, that means it will directly increment the i value so i value after incrementing will become 1 so again it will check if uh, i is less than 5 that is now since i is 1 it will check if 1 is less than 5 and 1 is less than 5 the condition is satisfied so it will check for this if condition if a of i equal to search that means now it will check if a of 1 equal to search a of 1 value is 20 so it will check if 20 is equal to search value that is 20 20 is equal to 20 the condition is satisfied so this condition will be satisfied so it will print that uh, this percentage will be replaced by search so it will print that 20 is present at location i plus 1 now i value over here was 1 but while printing it will print 
i plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 equal to 2 the reason i've already told you all because array value start from 0 so if it is found at the first position inside the array user should know that it is found at position 2 fine so after this it will print that uh, 20 is present at location uh, location 2 after that it will increase the f value initially f value was 0 after incrementing f value will become 1 after this it will increase the i value so i value was 1 so it now it will become 2 so again it will check is 2 less than 5 yes condition is satisfied so now it will check if a of 2 equal to search a of 2 value is 30 so it will check if 30 is equal to 20 30 is not equal to 20 so this condition is not satisfied so it will directly increase the i value after that again it will check uh, i value will become 3 so again it will check if 3 is less than 5 the condition is satisfied so it will check for this if condition if a of 3 equal to search a of 3 value is 40 so it will check if 40 is equal to 20 40 is not equal to 20 so this if condition is not satisfied so it will directly increment the i value so i value will become 4 again it will check 4 less than 5 yes condition is satisfied so now it will check if a of 4 is equal to the search value that means uh, what is a of 4 value is 20 so again it will check if 20 is equal to 20 yes the condition is satisfied so this condition is satisfied so now it will print that 20 is found at location 5 5 because it will print 4 plus 1 that is 5 we can see that here we have written i plus 1 so it will print that 20 is found at location 5 because i value was 4 so after uh, i plus so i plus 1 will be 4 plus 1 that is 5 and it will also increase the f value so f value over here was 1 now it will become 2 after that i value will in will increment again so i value will become 5 so again it will check is 5 less than 5 no so the loop will terminate after the loop terminates there is another if condition now this part is used to check if the element is present in the array or whether it is not present at all now here it will check if f equal to 0 now we can see that after this for loop f value has changed to 2 it is not equal to 0 meaning it won't execute this if uh, statement when so this condition we use only to check if the element is not present at all in the array also another thing here is that we use double equal to because in c to check for equal to condition we use double equal to single equal to will be just for assignment and finally we write this return zero statement because we have used int main so after this it will terminate the code so let us see the output first it will ask the user to enter the number of elements i have entered 5 after that it will ask to enter the elements i have entered 10 20 30 40 and 20 then it will ask to enter the number to search i have entered 20 so it will print that 20 is present at location 2 and 20 is present at location 5 so we can see that 20 is present at location 2 and 20 is present at location 5 thank you so much for watching next videos arrays part f